Brightstown teen who nearly died after being hit by a car last year has made a remarkable recovery. The accident almost destroyed Jacob Peter's future in sports, but now he says he's been given the green light to suit up for the homecoming game tomorrow night. At Wrightstown High School, nearly one full year after the accident. As of Tuesday, when I did get cleared, it was 50 weeks to the day. Jacob Peters, now a junior, has worked tirelessly, proving he's made a recovery that, for some, is hard to believe. So that I could still live, still be able to run, still compete. In September of last year, Peters and his teammates were near Highway 96, preparing to toilet paper a friend's house as part of homecoming tradition. Peters says the next thing he remembers is being told he was just hit by a car. First thing that I asked the flight nurse when I was in the helicopter was, was I going to be able to play on Friday? And she said I wasn't going to be able to play for a long time. Really scared me and made me think that I wasn't going to be able to play ever again. Peters was sent sailing 39 feet through the air, breaking his arm, leg, and fracturing his skull. To date, Peters has no hearing in his right ear. You know, he played varsity as a freshman, you know, he's a very great kicker, you know, great player. Junior James Hansen was with Peters that night. He and hundreds more rallied behind Peters using the hashtag PD Strong logo. Hansen says he never doubted Peters' recovery. He'd be working hard getting back out here, and I, I had no doubt in my mind he'd be back out here at this time. Peters isn't out of the woods entirely. If I get hit in the head or have any type of head injury, I'm in the ER immediately, and I can't play ever again. During Friday's homecoming game against Marinette, he says he'll play smarter to avoid injury. As for toilet papering houses this homecoming week, I'm not doing that one again. Peters says it's best to leave some traditions on the bench.